it is an incomprehensible uh, act of horror that he perpetrated on this family. So the Claremont County prosecutor he just heard right there says his office will pursue the death penalty in the case against 32 year old Chad Dorman. As you likely know, Dorman is charged with multiple counts of aggravated murder, accused of shooting and killing his three young sons at his home last week Thursday. And we do have live team coverage from Claremont County for you tonight. Peyton Marshall has details on what happened in court today. And Mike Shell has disturbing new details from the prosecutor on what happened that day on Laurel Lindale Road. Peyton, we'll start with you. Yeah, Rob, well, what I can tell you is that the father, Chad Dorman, pleaded not guilty to all 21 charges against him. Now, during court today, I will say that the prosecutor uh, talked about in detail what exactly happened to the three boys on that day. I do want to warn you, it's it's extremely difficult to hear. The court needs to have some understanding of the facts. What we have here is the plan and slaughter of three little boys. On Friday, Claremont County Prosecutor Mike DeColvey explained in detail how three little boys were shot and killed on June 15th. Mr. Dorman, do you understand that? You can see the boy's father, Chad Dorman, sitting in handcuffs during the hearing. For the court's own edification, uh, Mr. Dorman, can you please tell me how old you are? 32. And what's your date of birth? 3191. And are you a citizen of the United States? Yes. Dorman is charged with nine counts of aggravated murder for the deaths of his three-year-old, his four-year-old, and his seven-year-old. Court documents show that the boys were shot with a rifle and that Dorman, quote, confessed to planning and carrying out the deaths of victims involved for several months. Stand up! Stand up! Body camera from the day of the murders shows Dorman sitting on his porch when deputies arrived. It's crucial to note that his children's bodies were nearby. What's going on, man? Nothing. Uh, can I stand up? It's kind of uncomfortable. The Claremont County community is unraveled and distraught over the news of the murders. They're creating murals, fundraisers, and establishing locations to honor the lives of the brothers as justice is fought for them through the judicial system. Based upon the recitation of the indictment and all the possible charges and possible sentences, um, what is the plea of your client at this time? Plea is not guilty, Your Honor. Dorman pleaded not guilty to all 21 counts against him on Friday. This includes nine counts of aggravated murder, eight counts of kidnapping, and four counts of felonious assault. If the bond in this case be no bail. And I know there's still so many questions. For instance, like what was the motive? Well, records haven't revealed that yet, but we're expecting to get more answers during the pretrial hearing, which is scheduled for July 5th. Now, I was talking earlier about what the prosecutor was saying and going into detail about during court, and I'm gonna send it over to Mike Shell. Mike, uh, you actually got an interview and spoke with the prosecutor yourself. Yeah, Peyton, um, other than Dorman himself, the second most watched gentleman today was the uh, Claremont County prosecutor, Mark Tocolvi, to see if, in fact, he would go after the death penalty for Chad Dorman. And again, we must caution you, the details of this case are graphic. He slaughtered his three children in the most brutal fashion. You can imagine. Since his arraignment last week, Chad Dorman has been held on a $20 million bond, the largest ever imposed in Claremont County. County Prosecutor Mark Tocolvi was given an opportunity to tell the judge why that bond should be revoked. He said it was due to the horrific accounts in the case as Dorman allegedly shot and killed his three boys. The first one shot was a four-year-old shot in the house two times and sustained two bullet wounds to the head causing his death. The second child shot was a seven-year-old who fled the residence, ran some 300 feet from the residence, and was gunned down from behind by the defendant. He then approached this little boy who was injured, incapacitated, alive, and shot him in the head twice from close distance. Tocolvi then said Dorman went after his three-year-old son. It was a struggle with the mother. He ripped the child from the mother's arms and put a bullet in his head. At close range, hundreds on a three-year-old boy's head. 
there are several sentencing options in capital murder cases ranging from 25 years to life to life in prison without parole. And of course, the possible ultimate sentence should Dorman be convicted. This is a death penalty case, and my goal is to have this man executed for slaughtering these three little boys. The prosecutor also made a point to recognize the family who is dealing with this loss, saying that he wants to express his deepest sympathy for their loss. Reporting live from Batavia, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. Mike, thanks. And an event to honor the boys and to thank first responders involved in this difficult case is going to be happening this weekend. The new Richmond Sports Association is hosting that event at 6 Sunday night at the ball fields on Laurel Lindale Road. Leaders of the organization are asking people to come and share memories to help the family through this difficult time. And as we get any updates on this case, we're going to share them with you on air, online, and on our free mobile news app. You can download that app by scanning the QR code you see on your screen, or you can also search for Fox 19 in your phone's app store.